Are you okay? Oh my gosh. More there? Okay. That's fine. You don't have to. You're a good boy. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Alright, the pug. You okay? I to jump over here and he slipped and went straight down. And I didn't even know that he was trying to jump over here until he did it. That was that loud crashing you may have heard. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, I'm Pubble now wants up. Okay, Pubble. <laughs> okay. Here we go. What am I doing? I'm world building. I'm possibly outlining. I did figure out something though with world anvil and like kinda how it figures things, so let's uh, get to that. One of the things I struggle with um, with this whole thing, I guess, is just the hierarchy of things. And there's a couple systems that I used in the past where it just got too much. And this is almost that, but not quite. So let's let's take a look here. There's the main page. Um, let's see where we're at. So I need to figure out if there's a way to order these. I don't necessarily like it. But we have the Bentarn Empire, which is the country. And then, or the organization. So they're, they're treating like countries. Instead of countries, they have organization. And that's where it gets kind of weird. Um, so like, and then we have the settlement itself. And it's, it's a little bit bizarre and I might not have done it right. So let's take a look at both of these. Um, so, so, sorry, cool, you want down now? Okay, who wants down? <laughs> so, okay, so this is the settlement, and this is where I could choose state. Um, so if you think of countries are often considered a state, um, which is why the U.S. is so freaking weird. Um, sorry, I'm answering some things at the same time. Here's the pug. <laughs> Let's see here. Here, Gur, come here. No, this is not gonna work. Gur. <laughs> Those of you trying to look at this. This is a pug. This is he's huge. 
he's my huge boy. He's a very huge pug. He is more than double the size that Wayne was. My other pug he passed away in 2020. Um, but he's huge. And that large crashing sound that you may have heard if you tuned in a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah, that was him. He's okay, yo. He's okay. And he came back for another round. We made it this time. Um, he doesn't announce his presence like the quibble does. Quibble, if he doesn't think he can get over, he comes and has me pick him up. Gur does not do that. Uh, okay, we're just going to give him a hug. Hunger. But, let's see what we can do. Okay, so, let's, we're back at the settlement here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I get stuff done today. But, so here in the settlement, this is where they had different things. Um, maybe, you know, everything you think of a settlement, the state gets a little weird. Um, it's, um, it's like thinking of the U.S. as one cohesive country when it's really all of these states, states that could very well be their own countries in many cases, um, and can, it can seem like being in a completely different country if you travel from state to state. So, uh, but that's why we're like the United States. But anyway, geopolitical constructs aside, um, that's kind of how it is set up here. Um, and if we look at the organization, here we had geopolitical empire. And I have a few other ones, um, um, lots of duchy, merchant league, city, state, clan, free city, kingdom. So here's where you find like all those country things. So the Bentire, Bentarn Empire is that, um, yeah, this is, yeah, it's all kinds of things, military, like they kind of organize things, corporations, consortiums, broadcasting broadcasting activists so there's a lot of like types in there um so it got kind of strange because then when you connect them um let's see so like i have to like a leader title of that organization like it gets really weird but if we, you can see I have the culture set up here. Um, I need to fix this so the plus is there. Um, but if we go to just Ventaris, then we have like all these things like the government, industry and trade, geography. And so this is where I'm kind of at getting these set up. Um, I have to look up some names. They all have names, and I do not remember off the top of my head. But that's... I'm going to look at the map. This is Bentaris. Let me show you if you can here. Um, so, it borders Talate to the north. It also comprises of all these islands around here. This is actually Residia on that side. Um, and it doesn't look that big. It's actually gigantic. They have, their empire has shrunk um, in recent years due to their ongoing war with the Residian Empire that has just lasted a long time. And Residia is even bigger. And the largest difference between that is that Residia offers this, what do you call it? it? Residia offers comfort in the form of religion, but it's not 
a religion like we would think of one. It's almost cult-like. But they have things like quote-unquote universal health care. People are equal regardless of magic. Things like that. Ben Harsh is in that way. And they begin to shrunk, shrink because of that. So they still have a lot of massive land. Um, but it's not the same. So. Um, like geographical location. And so that's really interesting. Is that so Bentar shows up as a geographical location here in the settlement. So not the way that I would think of any of these things. But now they know. Um, species I don't have to worry about. Um, don't really work that. Organizational structure. So, hmm. There's all these things to think about. Especially when I'm trying to figure them all out here. I just put it in one place and it makes sense. But there's more things to think about. So, we're going to take... This is everything that we have here. And I have these X's here because I got to look up their names. So that's part of what I've got to do. Um, the other thing I wanted to just show you is I discovered I don't need my Scribner file anymore. The only thing left that was left in my Scribner file um, besides old outline stuff was um, some critique notes. I saved those out of there. So that's one less Scribner file to deal with. There's more that I'm going to have to deal with, but for now at least there is that. Um, Um, but I also got all my back dates into and timeline. Um, I haven't really looked at how the timeline works here. Let's, we'll go take a look. Actually, we'll come back here. We'll go into this one and take a look. Timeline. Um, Like, I don't even understand what history. Oh, I. This world was called like Test for some reason. History of Tide. Aria. There's not a lot here. Add an era to the timeline. I mean, I guess I'm going to put some of this in there now. If I create year, ending date, day, month. Um, significance. What kind of and it is. So that's kind of cool. Um, so that's timelines. Test development change lab. I, that's cool that you can kind of say, well, here's the things that we change. But I don't really care about that right now. So I guess I could put them in like the different parts. There's obviously like I don't want to put I guess I could put like the events of X story in there. Because I don't want to put my full outline timeline on because that's spoiler. Well, I guess maybe you can mark it as spoilers. I don't know. Um, you can just do historical events. If you create a new timeline, what happens? It's just. Oh. Nothing special there. Uh, so, can I era, era abbreviation, start date? Kind of weird how they do the dates here. I can't set up a calendar like I did in 
Oh, that's where you delete it. Let's go delete that extra one. Um, let's see here. We don't need this extra one. Um, I guess we could view it. Yeah, there's like nothing. I haven't put anything there. That's fine. Um, so I'm not really ready to fill that out yet because I use the timeline. Um, I've been using it a long time. The creators of this came on to a writing forum and asked a bunch of questions. One of the things I said is being able to get your own calendar. And they really took that to heart, and I love that they did, and that's what made me kind of adopt the software anyways, because I could have it by my calendar, um, which uh, we talked about a little bit last time. Um, the... Uh, let's see here. So, you know, and I went through version 4, which I version 2 which I really liked and I was doing the beta but I only kind of like surfaced it and I didn't think I realized how much they added I knew about that they added the spreadsheet section which I love because you can see everything without having to find it on the timeline um and I do know need to like work on some of the uh lengths of time something takes but the Worked on the relationship view, which I've started uh, filling out. So, this is kind of what, like, out of the story arcs. Uh, so, Dreamfire is the story arc here. Um, but what I didn't know is that they added a subway. So, what's really cool about this, and I've done this before for this. Like, I actually mapped out this book in a subway graphic. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I mean, old files. Subway outlines. I don't have the software installed anymore, um, but it was this really interesting software that let you do that. And I built a few old ones. This, uh, yes, these SC files story creator or what have you um but I thought I saved a JPEG of it somewhere but maybe I didn't oh uh, it doesn't look like I did But basically, I did a whole thing, and it was really cool because you can see, like, all the inner relationships where people um, kind of meet and leave each other. So you have the main storyline here, and then here's the three characters that I've put in here so far, um, where, where they kind of bounce. So that's actually really kind of cool, um, and you can actually at like a location track and other things, but I haven't added locations. So that's cool that they added that here, but they've added a few other things. This whole narrative card section, so you can set up your outline. And they have an, a full-on outline section, and so the only thing in here is events and narrative items. Um, like all your backstory doesn't show up in here and stuff like that, and that's, that's really cool. Like, this, and then they also have a mind map section, um, which I haven't created a mind map, but I will because I have that. I'm like, oh, maybe I don't need plotter anymore. So this is plotter. Um, let me, another program I've been using for a while, um, since the original beta, um, open this up over the last year or two they have added um like a whole series section and you have your books um but you can do a project timeline 
Um, and I haven't really set up anything in this, but I definitely have a few old ones in here. Your character, your places, tags. Um, for example, let's open. I'm going to open existing file bar. Close the whole thing. <laughs> but if and timeline does all this now. Um open existing file, there we go. So this is where we are at with this one. So let's go to old uh, outline. And we'll do this one here. And so I have everything set out for different scenes for each chapter um, in the outline view. And you can see like which characters and, and or how many scenes everything has. And then if I add the characters in here, which I hadn't gotten to yet, um, you can have notes now, which you couldn't have before. Um, your characters are very simple, um, but it kind of connects everything. But really, this is nice. It's the old kind of like Y Writer used to have, um, which is another reason why I stopped with that. Um, but you can set up some different structures and stuff too in here. Um, but this, if you go look at the project, and this one has three, which I have not put their timelines in here yet. Um, but you can have like all your books and you can have the series view. So I was starting to put the, I was actually starting to put the timeline in here. Um, But I hadn't, I hadn't gotten that far yet. But I was thinking of dropping in timeline when three came out, and this is just there's so much information I can have in here about the story, and that's really cool. Um, and you can set things as backstory. You can color code them. Um, so I have some different colors. broke my nail. So like I have different things set as backstory. Um, I have kind of like these over events, but then I have different things because they're dreamers and dream magic has a color. The color is random, um, except in a very specific case. But I've set it to the colors of those people. Um, I still need to set some of these as, like, this is the backstory. This is also backstory. 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 So, and then we start getting into the events of the story. So that's actually really kind of cool. Um, I didn't realize that, Let's see, um, that, and, it, you know, they have sync stuff, all these things have sync with uh, Scrivener, so if you use that, then that's great, I do not. Um, in Dabble, I've set up some things, I have an older version in here, um, but just to see, I have, like, all the synopsis stuff in here, because I don't ever have a good place for that, so I guess it's time to show you. This is version two of this. So I just basically just had it bound so that I could easily reference it. 
This is basically everything I've collected over the years that I use when writing a story. Um, so you can't buy it, I guess, for a certain point one because I only made a small edit to this one, but it was big enough that I wanted a new version. Um, basically, if I follow each of these step by steps, um, and this is also so I don't lose these things. Some of the stuff I got out of books, some of these from websites. Um, and I like, I can, I have all the links in here as well as uh, different things to do. So, um, let's see, did I put that? Error bookmark not defined. Oh, that's a typo. Anyway. <laughs> I think I don't think I put it in the um I didn't put it in the table of contents. Did I put it in the let's see I had a page of like what these resources were. They're definitely on the Aid Maharia site. No, that's well. I also put uh, world building with Leviathan in here, so I would always have those steps. Um, but synopsis. No, I don't have it in here. But I'll show you really quick because I don't have that open. So if I go to novel plan, uh, so basically here's the outline of all the steps that I follow. Um, but this hasn't been updated in a while. Uh, so there's some other things that I've put in here since then or changed around, but I also have links to everything. So I'm going to get this on the world building site as well. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get back to what we were doing with Ventaris. Um, the sections, similar to other things. Uh, it's last time I couldn't remember what to put here. It's T O C, not. Um, which I need to stick on this side too in their sections. They also have like this whole geopolitical, geopolitical section. So I started doing the things I'm head of state, head of government, is Loric, um, government system. I chose monarchy absolute. Uh, I don't know what some of these mean, honestly, but it is kind of what it is. It's not really a dictatorship. But I'd have to look up some of those. Uh, power structure system. Not a confederation or a federation. I wouldn't say it's feudal. Um, um, our gun. He uh, had enough children to make sure that they were all married into the families of the different ruling nobility um, so that they could so those ties were all set so the last of the last. I feel like I knew all these ones and those have just left my brain let's see and uh, dominion over the seas, mixed trade or trade column. Yeah, no, that's not them. No. Um, they. There is a sea trade. Um, there's airships though, which have largely made that ups, obsolete. But airship technology is also very difficult, so there's still you know holdouts uh, that will only ship by sea. Let's see. Sure. I'm gonna leave that. Economic system. Um, 
what's the economy? I'm not really sure exactly which, other than it kind of has one. <laughs> it doesn't really have a lot to do with my story. Like, I could build more, but I really, a lot of that I think of on the fly. Um, the official currency is bits. Um, the currency is kind of like the malleable bit system where you have a whole coin and that can be broken out into bits. Um, there's um, eight bits to one coin. So for that, for the most of the global areas, um, they all trade in the same currency system. Um, I didn't want to deal with different currencies. It doesn't really matter. Eight bits to one coin. Um, and it just, it's very simple. It doesn't need to be very complicated for what we're doing. Uh, legislative body, no, that's mostly not a thing. Um, but the different governors and, uh, dukes and duchesses and, and such that are over the different parts of the empire are fairly autonomous in that as long as they're following the rules of the land and wealth flows to Mogador, then that's um, kind of what, what do you say? Then that makes everybody happy, basically. Uh, judicial, there's not a judicial, the executive is all, there's no reason to foreign relations, territory, military, um, the military is made of dreamers making them one of the most powerful. Terrors in the I know what I'd put in the territory section, I feel like. Uh, state religion. Nope. They are. Ben Taurus is atheistic. Um, there are pockets that worship the heroic goddess, but there's no state religion. Agriculture and industry. Ventaris is self-sufficient, meaning that they have mines for crystals, thin stone. Um, they have access to um, huge agricultural area um, from uh, temperate all the way to tropical. Um, so... I don't know if I put that anywhere in here. Um, might as well make it out, right? Ben Taurus is self. I mean, really, what they. Um, shoot. They have to crystal and thin stone mines tomorrow and others precious metals and building materials um they control Huge swath of agricultural land from temperate to tropical. So what this means, though, is that really what they trade in is dreamers. 
Um, so they're looking for dreamers to, of, of course, their certain specific allowed type um, that mostly can join their military. Um, since uh, dreaming is so unpredictable, like dreamers uh, that are very powerful can have a non-dreamer children and vice versa. And it's not, and even then, the wide range of what their abilities are is not usually, I mean, from in between, it could, it could be all across the spectrum. Um, one of the reasons Avergon is um, in charge, an emperor, um, is because his family has mostly powerful dreamers. Um, and when I get more into the magic, we'll see like what that means. But when I say they're the most powerful in the world, uh, strategically, um, in, in a combat situation, yes, they that's because that's what they're that's what they're really um, what they what they think is the right kind of dreamer is. Um, but there's a lot more to that, and if it wasn't for a certain um, goddess who was really about protection rather than um, conquering anything. Uh, it, it could be much different. But yeah, Ventaris has a very narrow view of what should be or what is compared to a lot of other places in the world. Uh, um, their biggest... Oh, what's uh, their biggest import is Dreamer. And I'm going to leave it at that right now because I'm going to need to link that to everyone or to everything. Um, hi. Uh, seems like there's another person in the room here. And I can't apparently see who that is. But hi, person who's joined us. Um, <coughs> oh goodness, my sky got to drink. Um, yeah, but I'm going to leave that where that is now because I want to link that when I get to that point. So, exports, all kinds of things, um, because they're self sufficient. I'm going to leave education out. They definitely have schools, um, uh, infrastructure, um, railways. Uh, roads, um, airship ports, ship ports, and naval ports. Called? Is it called naval ports if they're not? Hmm, that's a question mark. I'll have to look. Um, so technical and scientific level. Scientific level. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. So let's get up there and get this, this is saved. I don't know if y'all hear her snoring right here. Uh, let me see. I think I got all the generic stuff. Organized culture, public agenda, assets, history. Um, where did I put Oh, that's right. Let's do this really quick before I forget. Oh. Sections. Content panel. Cyber bottom. There we go. Diplomacy. I'll have to figure out the diplomacy widget once I have more things set up. Okay. Um, sections. So they don't have a slogan. No alternative names. Hmm. 
founders. I don't actually know who founded Ventaris. Sorry, I know when it was founded. Oh. Owning organization is the Ventaran Empire. There's not really a rate. Additional rulers on those. Philoric is the crown prince. Um, he's technically first in line for the empire's throne. Population is fairly large. Similar original families, infrastructure, districts, assets, defined fences. Um, gamer, military. Okay, I need to update this. Here's industry and trade. Nope, nope, nope. You could it would translate like move this then from markdown to that's okay I'm gonna set up there's some form guides I mean just in the same that they're um what do you call it I mean stuff they just don't have it's not very, the biggest one is really during those fields and factions. Uh, three points of interest. Tourism, not really a thing. Architecture. There you go. Geography. Let's get this looking decent. Oops. Once I get different characters set up, I can link them here, as well as fix all the names, which I need to look up what they are, because I named them as I was writing Isophine's story. Wrong button. Other islands, I realized I wasn't hitting hold button. Oh, and I created Mugador, so I could link this. Oh, I was going to auto, but I need to auto link it, so I need to do that. Wait, let me do that. I think it'll work. I hope it'll work. A link. No man just found. Okay, maybe I didn't. Well, maybe, you know. The Martin Plains. Ash Lenore is one of my favorite characters. She is just pain. Desert. I had to change it. I named a lot of things Mar at some point, and I realized I named like I had Mar Island, and I had Duke Mar, and I had Mar. I was like, why am I doing that? This is why I have to be organized. Like, you just never know what you're going to person. Have one person come in, but they didn't say anything. Oops, missed that. Um, hopefully soon here I'll be getting I'm waiting for my uh, second screen to come for this computer so that I can have like the interesting about this instead of having it on another computer I think that might like really be weird but okay natural resources hit save on this one for now and this didn't have a bunch of different sections but back to this uh culture um uh, i think we had government in this one public agenda assets history disband it didn't disband uh, predecessor and successor 
if you had different like countries and belonged to them before, that'd be kind of handy. So I think we're good there. Geopolitical, we have the capital. Let's do create Mogador. Um, mixed economy. You know, this is like riveting stuff. Um, military, religion, agriculture. So let's get this information here. Copy this into there. I just spelled there wrong. Hmm. Ah. Sports. Right. Hold on. Let's hit save real quick. Say religious, uh, no. Um, they have some old things. Um, technically the broken goddess came from this region. Uh, granted divine powers. Helping create worship, sex. Uh, but it's, it's been a long time. Um, I'm gonna do C, broken. Uh, so the, where Ventaris aligns, they are, um, what do you call it? They're kind of looking to unite with other, that's kind of where the story starts, at least with Dreamfire. They're kind of looking to align against the, the theocracy that is, uh, Presidia. Um, with others, but what is this? Okay, military formation type. No, training level, no, 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 that matters. Okay, so save changes. And let's take a look at everything here. This should look much nicer. This is Dreamer Military. Oh, another person I wandered in and wandered out. Let's see. So I think I've got that set up. The World Atlas in there. And if we come to the Ventaran Empire, here we have all of these things. So that's actually really cool. Like how it has that stuff down the side. Um, but yeah, uh, ooh, let me think of where we're at. So that's Ventaris. If we take a look at what I have here. So then one of the things I have is that what's in there doesn't necessarily match. Let's take a look at other things. And again, like, I'm not really fond of... Getting items organized. So right now these are all under World Atlas. So let's get... Uh, how do I have it here? Under World... Countries... I guess I could just leave them. Oh, I know how I can organize them. I think. You can just drag and drop them. That organizes them. Is that true? Maybe. And Taurus. I don't know. That drags them into there, but not really. 
No? Oh wait, if I hit arrange... That's weird. Okay. Now it's arranged. So now if we come here... Okay. That's good. Can we... End it? All right, so that gives us these. Let's start at Himalaya. Um, so I'm gonna put a little excerpt in there. If we go to here and check out, You just click on one of that. That's for the one of that. Just you know, go to there. Just opens it. Uh, so eventually I'll have different pictures in there, but that's kind of down the road, right? All right. So I kind of figure out how the countries work. Let's take a look at. Everything. It's the article list. I can create a new one. There's so many questions. Let's take it. Oh, well, another person has joined back again. Let's see. Can you export just to have it? idea that's something we'll have to think of check out too all right so that's been no no someone's went to the wrong thing sorry there we go all right so that's been Taurus I don't think I had anything actually in countries it was just Mr. Crabster I did have a list of countries which is that's what I kind of want Like, how do you, I mean, thoughts, geographic locations, where we can have like the whole planet in coal, rock formations. On C. Hmm. So I think I can create a new F category. We'll say countries. Say I want that country to be in no in the world out no. Trace. Well, at least that's what I thought I could do. Can I delete this? I did that before. There it is. So I'm in World Alice. And then do country. Oh, set current category as parent. Go. Now I have countries. So, okay, features of the planet, been high, we're going to put you in countries. There we go. And let's give countries that will work. Didn't I 
ammo this way. Sign display. Let's see changes. You know, we have to go look and see what is happening. So now, if I have world atlas, I have countries, features of the planet, and then in countries, I have Ventaris, the Ventaris Empire. <laughs> I really like how that works, though, you know? Like, can I make... Wait, was there a parent in here? I don't remember. No. Hmm. Like, I guess I could create a Ventaris holder. very weird. Four. Mm. I know, I just gotta indent it a little bit further. The, did we get the country countries? Because it's not there. Didn't save that. So like, go to World Atlas and countries. Oh, there we go. Countries and small. Government. Hmm. I don't know. That's cool. So, let's see here. Well, whether the person that made the same person that joined or not, I do not know. I do not know. Timestamp. Okay. I don't want this to match though. I don't know. I have to think about that. Well, let's take a look at Amalia. We have. We'll change that to done for now and this to done. take a look at Himalaya. So they are kingdom. They are ruled by a king. Kingdom. Empire for city kingdom. Um, so let's get them in here. No. 
down. Oh, I didn't put the sounding gate after all of that. Um, it's going to be one in the jar. Himalayan reckoning. I'm actually going to type that out because I can. Himalayan reckoning. Did I spell that right? No, I can't. Uh, no dissolution date. You need to look up who the leader is. They're their own parent organization. Um. No. Uh. Base settlement on HQ. Huh. I have thoughts now. Hmm. species. There is a second species and there are dwarves in Himalaya or there were. So I'll have to get back to you. On the north, like agenda, assets, history. Don't have a predecessor. Actually, they do technically. In the Ventura and Empire, they were a colony of the Ventura Empire. Now I wonder if the articles will save this one. Sections, side there, content panels at the bottom. Yes. All right. Well, you know, I, we're making headway. I'm getting a little bit further every time. Um, and look, there's the founding of Antares. It's one drawer. Is found, so I'm gonna grab that. So that's the one I want to come to. Um, but we're getting, you know, more and more of these. All the items filled in. Update there. Uh, so that's at BH before Hamal. So the dates, the way that I think about this world is all in context of Himalaya. So while they'll have their own calendars and dates, it's not really relevant for anything other than for my um, benefit, really. An organization, that's what she is, but we're going to go to save. So if we take a look at everything, gonna do this. I'm gonna make sure I didn't do anything. Oh, Antares got out of country, so I'm just gonna go. I'll have to put it back in there. Um, how's that happen? Ah, okay, well, I'll figure it out. Anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I got a little bit further. Um, I'm really excited to start working on my story in here, and I have to decide if I'm going to be still using Flocker at that point. I don't know. Well, uh, 
I know it was kind of rambly and everything, but we're all moving fast. I'm not getting stuck on one thing every time, at least. So, thank you very much for joining in.